Hi guys, it's Laurie here from Lemon Yoga and welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking you through a mum and baby postnatal yoga flow. So this is a yoga flow that you can be doing with your baby present. I just want to show you all the things that you can be doing whilst having your baby with you for your workouts. You don't necessarily have to use the baby for the workout, but I'm going to show you how they can get involved if you'd like them to or if they want to. So I'm popping my baby the iris down on her back but she is a crawler so she won't stay here very long and I'm going to move through a few rounds of cat cow so we're just moving the spine rolling the body all the way forwards and then exhaling as we peel the spine high towards the sky and just moving through a few of these to loosen up through the lower back which tends to get really stiff postnatally because we might be sleeping awkwardly or you know we're carrying little ones around a lot or nursing once i've moved through a few of these we're going to move on to our pelvic floor exercises so important during the postnatal period so i just want you to think about lifting and squeezing through your back passage through your front passage lift and squeeze inside and relax the pelvic floor back down and just keep repeating that lift squeeze relax from there, we're going to move into balancing cat. So the right arm forwards, left leg back, and then touch down. And then just moving on to the other side. So reaching long. And then when you're ready, you can touch down. And I just want you to think about your core engagement here. So you're going to think about drawing your navel in towards the spine as we build a little bit of strength there. So I'm just going to show you everything sort of once through. It's a 10 minute exercise. I do recommend that you repeat it. So you do this whole thing twice in a row. All right, from here, you can start to draw some circles with the body, placing both hands down on the mat, just to really free up through your spine, free up through the hips, anywhere that's feeling stiff. It's like you're just shaking or wiggling that stiffness out of the body now. And then we'll press back into our first downward facing dog. So when you're ready, lifting hips high, heels press low, bend into the knees as much as you need to. If you want to pedal the feet here, you can and just find a bit of space in your body. Our bodies change so much after we have babies. So we, we sort of have to learn them all over again. All right, from there, pop those knees down. We'll then bring the hips forwards, pressing to palms to lift the chest high, working our way into up dog, or if you need a modification, bend elbows and take cobra pose instead. And just take a moment there before pressing all the way back into a nice child's pose, stretching through the whole spine. And you can see the whole time I'm interacting with Iris. So, you know, you've got to do what you need to do to get through the practice today. All right, I'm reaching that left arm up high, threading it all the way under the right, bringing the left shoulder down towards the ground. And Iris can still see my face. I'm still chatting away to her. So if that helps your baby stay present and connected and not need you for a moment, then by all means, go ahead and chat away to them. And we'll go the other way now. So reaching that right arm up and then threading the right arm under the left, bringing the right shoulder down. So like I said, I've kept this really short today because um, I know that children can get bored quite easily and you need to move on and entertain them. But it's a sort of 10 minute all round of flow um, that you can keep repeating for best effects. All right, from there, release and press back into your downward facing dog, hips high. We're gonna step our right leg through, place that left heel down and bet, pressing into your right foot, rise all the way up into your warrior one. We're gonna move through some fiery strength building poses now. Just take a moment here to breathe, lift the chest, lift your heart space and exhale as you open into warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. The hips are open. You're looking over that front arm off into the distance. And then we'll reach all the way up and over, finding our reverse warrior. Exhale into side angle. Bring that right arm down, left arm up and over in line with the ear. And 
and then straightening all the way into your triangle pose, Trikonasana, so you're straightening through that front leg. And we'll start to turn the torso down towards that front leg now, turn the hips, come into a forward fold over your front leg, that right leg, and just let the torso hang heavy here. All right, bending into your right knee, sink on down, press it back, find downward facing dog, roll the body forwards, knees down to protect your core at this point in your postnatal journeys, probably not a good idea to do plank yet, and then lifting into your back bend, up dog, or bending the elbows and finding cobra. Taking a moment here to breathe and stretch before pressing all the way back, finding another downward facing dog. I'm just having a moment to interact with Iris first. Just staying in your downward facing dog for a few breaths before stepping the left foot through, and popping the right foot down to the ground. Rise all the way into warrior one, reaching the chest high, softening into the shoulders, really press into the feet here. And open as you find Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Bending into the left leg, the right leg is long, you're looking over your left arm, off into the distance. And we'll turn that front palm, reach all the way up and over, find your reverse warrior, breathe some space into the side of the body. And we'll move into our side angle. So the left arm down, right arm all the way up and over, breathing space into the right hand side. And straightening into Trikonasana now, left leg straight, right arm reaching high, eyes can look up. Start to turn towards that left leg and fold the torso all the way down into your pyramid stretch. Feeling a really nice deep stretch through the back of the leg. And then we'll sink our hips all the way down. In fact, we're coming straight to seated this time. And Iris is just getting a little bit fussy, so I'm encouraging her to come sit with me for a moment as we come into a side stretch. So we'll reach that right arm all the way up and over, just breathing some space into the right side of the body. Exhale, other way, left arm all the way up and over and breathe some space into the left side of the body. All right, slowly release, rise on up. We'll reach arms all the way up, exhaling through center. And I just want to take a moment to thank you guys so much for joining me for today's practice. Like I said, this was really short and sweet, so it's something you can do with your children. It doesn't even have to be babies, but with your children, toddler, baby, whatever it is around. So if you found this useful, if you found you could get on with your yoga practice today, then that's amazing. I want you to try and repeat this maybe straight away or maybe a few times a week or a couple of times in a day, just so you can keep working on that strength. Thanks so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe and join the Lemon Yoga family before you leave today, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Yeah.